Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I have a very cool watch brand based out of New York, it's a smaller brand. They were recently funded on Kickstarter and this is their first release, the Stella Felix automatic timepiece. It's a Swiss made automatic watch. It's a really cool design, they have a nice uh, variation of dials as well. I have two of the variations here from Stella based in uh, New York City. And they're a pretty cool, bra pretty cool brand run by two people with some background in the watchmaking industry and business development. And uh, this is their first offering. I'm going to give you my uh, thoughts on it. As you can see, it comes in this handmade uh, genuine leather pouch here inside a cardboard box, of course. And you unzip this bad boy right here. I already took the watch out, but I'm just going to show you. The watch came on this pad in here. Nice little Stella patch here in leather. This is the pad it comes on. And then you get uh, some information in here. This is your warranty instruction manual, another leather pouch with the denim here, which is pretty cool. And then you get a polishing cloth, which is always a nice touch. A little style of polishing cloth. And then this thing is the case back removal tool. It's a custom case back, so you need a custom case back removal tool. And this heavy duty thing right here is what does it. So as you can see here, this is the case back removal tool because it does have that kind of star on the case back. So it has the custom, you know, it's kind of etched out on the case back just like this. So you kind of really need this tool. So if you're ever going to drop off your watch for a service or anything, uh, definitely give them this tool and so they can open the case back. Very heavy, also feels like a paperweight and adds some nice um, happiness to the case as well for an overall luxurious feeling. Now on my wrist today is the Oceanica Reef. This is a dive watch, their V3 version. I think this is a pretty cool watch. Um, it's 200 meters, has the new loomed ceramic bezel and oyster bracelet. Just a fun watch to beat around in and not that expensive. Now let's get into these Stella watches. As you can see here, this is probably the most popular variation. This is their dress blues. This one comes in at 1,185 US dollars and uh, it comes shipped by UPS pretty fast. So pretty good delivery service there and uh, can be found on their website. I will drop a link in the description below. There are also some different variations. Uh, I do have a matte black dial to show you as well, and I'll show you that towards the uh, middle of the video. Anyway, this is probably my favorite variation, and as you can see why, it has that really nice linen denim dial, which is really cool and very unique, and something I really never experienced before, to be quite honest with you. Now, the dress blues um, with this nice textured dial um, it also kind of goes from a black to a dark blue if you really look at it, which is pretty cool. Anyway, um, some basic dimensions on this timepiece here. We have a 40 millimeter case. We have a 47 millimeter lug to lug width. We have a pair of 20 millimeter lugs here. And in terms of case thickness, we're looking at 13 millimeters. So definitely a good size for an everyday, uh, very wearable watch. I think this thing, it goes great with the pair of jeans, obviously with that dial. And it also can go well with business attire as well. And, um, you know, I think it's kind of an everyday watch that can be used in pretty much every situation you can think of. Um, the case, of course, is crafted of solid 316L steel. It's a four-piece case with a PVD-coated section and an enamel star on the crown, if you did not notice that, which is pretty cool. And the crown is screwed down as well. We get 100 meters of water resistance, which makes this a very usable watch even in the water, uh, which I found to be quite nice. Um, the crystal is a semi-domed sapphire crystal, as you can see with uh, some anti-reflective coating on the underside. We have a few layers there, so it's very legible. You can see that blue sheen coming off there, that's the anti-reflective coating. Um, yeah, there's a few layers there, so you're not going to have any issue with legibility on this dial here. Getting back to the case, we do have drilled lug holes, which is a nice touch. And there also is some chamfering, uh, polished chamfered edges on the top of these lugs, which kind of swipe downwards, uh, which really grasp the wrist quite nicely, I found and fits very comfortable. Now we have the case back, and then we have this PVD black section there, as you can see, so that's one, two. Then we have this case piece right here, that's three. Then we have this smooth bezel, that's four pieces. So it's kind of a four piece case, uh, which is pretty cool. Definitely something different. Um, I've never really seen that before. Uh, and it looks pretty cool with the black matching the black crown and the red, everything kind of really goes together there. The finishing also is pretty fine. If I get you in a little closer here, you can see the finishing is really nice. Um, the brushing is smooth, there's no sharp edges. Also some polishing, if I get this to focus. There's also some polishing on the sides of the smooth bezel to match the chamfered tops. Uh, and the polishing on the lugs, uh, which is pretty cool there. Now this watch is marked Swiss made, so it does, you know, I would consider this a Swiss made watch. It is, I believe it's 50% or more of something of that nature. Um, in today's standards, I'm not 100% sure, as it changes quite often. But anyway, 
Uh, this watch is Swiss made. It is running an automatic Swiss caliber. Um, it is using the STP 111. Uh, this is owned by the Fossil Group. They introduced this movement in 2012. And it's a pretty cool movement. I have had some experience with this movement. Also, this movement's used in most of these Zodiac dive watches, uh, which is a pretty popular brand under the Fossil Wing as well. Now this movement, some specifications on this movement. Well, this piece right here is running about four to five seconds fast today, which is pretty good. You know, for a non-chronometer grade or non-chronometer rated movement, I'd say, you know, this is running pretty good. Uh, four or five seconds, that's definitely really, really good. So I'm happy about that. The movement has 26 joules. It also does feature hand wind, hacking, and it also does have a quick set date at the three o'clock position with a black window. Uh, which kind of, you know, doesn't really stick out that much on this watch, but it kind of fits in with the whole symmetrical theme they're going for here. The logo, Felix down here, if I get you in a little closer, you see the Stella Applied logo and that nice kind of script, kind of funky font there, the Applied numerals. Then you have those polished markers as well, or, or indices which are applied with Loom, C1, and C3 mixed on the hands and all of the applied parts of this dial. We'll get you a loom shot towards the end of the video. Nice little detail on the sweeping seconds hand. A nice little red arrow matches the crown. I think that's pretty cool there, if you didn't notice that. Just nice small details on this watch that I really do appreciate. Um, anyway, the STP 111, as I was getting back to that, we have a 44 hour power reserve. And they did use a very good version of this movement, as you can see. They customized the whole movement, and it's one of the higher grade ones. We have perlage, blued screws, a custom rotor in black, uh, which is really nice. If you take a closer look at that, that's really, really nice looking. I'm glad they went the extra mile and used the decorated movement, and they kind of used their own rotor there, which is pretty cool, with the same logo as the case back. And as I was stating with that case back tool, you see those notches right there? That's where you'd put the tool in and remove the case back. Case back is simple, screwed down, Swiss made, Sapphire, Stella Felix, STP 111, 26 joules, Swiss made marked. Now, if you are not a fan of the one on the right, perhaps the matte black dial is actually pretty nice as well. Um, this comes with a different color, genuine leather band, the black with the white contrast. Well, this has more of a brownish kind of cognac color here. Um, so two different schemes there of color. You can also customize the size of the strap on their website. So the black dial variant is actually really nice as well. It has a nice matte black dial, uh, which is really, really nice. I think this is more subtle. Uh, maybe this one would go a bit more formal in my opinion, or a bit more stealthy. Um, but they're definitely both very nice. Um, different strokes for different folks, I guess, right? Um, but yeah, getting to the buckle on these straps, you can see they put a custom buckle um, with the theme here. Everything kind of pointed, just like the seconds hand, like I showed you in red, kind of matches the buckle. So I think that's pretty cool. Everything really matches on this watch. And I uh, get two keepers here, one's floating. Um, but the bands are definitely very nice. They have quick release features as well. And they are marked genuine leather. And they are marked with the Stella logo. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get you a loom shot, show you exactly what the loom looks like. And uh, we'll take it from there. Here is a loom shot. As you can see, we have loom on the hands, on the applied numerals there. And uh, the loom, like I said, it's not super, super, super bright if you read the written review, uh, but it's definitely good enough for a dress watch like this. Or not a dress watch, but a casual watch. This isn't a diving watch. Uh, I think the loom is good enough. You know, if you have, obviously, if they created a dive watch, they'd probably add more layers of loom. It is good loom. Um, you know, perhaps a layer or two more wouldn't hurt, but, you know, this this watch is really not about that, you know, kind of style. There's the watch on my 6.75 inch wrist, and it fits really nice. Um, very comfortable, as you can see, those lugs really do curve down there. The straps definitely conform nicely. Give it a day or two, it'll break in. Wow, this black one is really, really nice. I'm not sure if the black one or the blue one is nicer, but that nice black strap with the white really goes along nicely with that dial. Yeah, but definitely really, uh, really comfortable on the wrist, very legible from all angles, as you can see there. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Now, if you didn't know, to actually function this movement, our crown here, which is screwed down for that 100 meters of water resistance, it's screwed down, you unscrew it, you can give the watch some juice in the first position, and then we get the second position, which is a quick set date here, as you can see. Pretty, pretty uh, legible window there, black on black. I think they did a nice job matching that. And then we have hacking in our final position. Change the time here. And it's as simple as that. Screw the crown back down. Very easy to screw down. No issues there whatsoever. And uh, yeah, very easy movement to function, just as the Eta 2824 or the Salita SW200. Well, this black dial is really, really stunning. I think I like this one a little more, but the blue one is just really cool with a pair of jeans. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, 
So furthermore guys, I think their first release, the Stella Felix from Stella Watch Company, is a very good first release. I mean, they put together a very nice looking watch, a very, you know, symmetrical I'd say watch, a very, this watch doesn't look like, you know, a mishmash of a bunch of things. It looks like it was meant to be, you know, and it's hard to say that for many micro brands in this uh, era, I'd say. A lot of things are kind of mishmashes from different watches, while this is kind of their own design. Uh, this dial you won't really find on another watch. You're not really going to find that. Uh, so it definitely makes it unique and uh, definitely deserves a higher price point in my opinion. They went out and actually designed their own watch. So uh, the cons, I think, I, mean, I can't really find anything negative about this watch. I've been wearing it for about a week or two and it wears nice. It keeps great time. It's comfortable on the wrist. There are no sharp edges. Very good finishing. Nice domed sapphire crystal. I had no issue with the STP 111. I think it's a good movement. I like the decoration. I also do like the 100 meters of water resistance. I took this thing in the pool and it was really nice. No issues there. So they definitely are pressure tested. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think. I think it's a great deal. I think it's a very nice looking watch and something very special you can add to your collection. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As usual, definitely subscribe to the channel. Check out the written article on this watch on www.watchaddictchannel.com and hit, throw me a like if you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you guys real soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.